All right, y'all, we back with another video. So, update on this baby. I called Dooney and Burke today and asked them about this um, Dooney and Burke zip zip satchel um, being listed as white online. So when it arrived, I was expecting a bridal gown white, a printer paper white, like straight up white, not off-white, not cream, not ecru, not winter white, none of that. So I called Dooney and Burke and asked them about it. <clears throat> and unfortunately, the gentleman at the call center I don't know if he didn't understand what I was asking or he just really couldn't provide me an answer, but all he kept saying was order another bag and when it arrives to you, hopefully it's the white that you're expecting. If you not know my channel, y'all know about what happened with that whole coach situation. We're not doing all that. <laughs> we we not doing all that. You're going to tell me right now, do you have a white or not? And what's the likelihood of this tag as well as this tag being accidentally placed on the wrong bag since this color seems more like the bone color that Dooney and Burke offers. So again, he didn't really have any answers. Um, when I hung up, hubby had a good idea. He was like, why don't you just call one of the Dooney and Burke stores and see if maybe they know since they're actively able to put the two bags together, look at the tag, talk about it, all that stuff. So that's what I did. I looked up the first um, closest bag, I mean closest store or whatever, um, called them, asked them, and the lady was, oh my gosh, she was so sweet, y'all. She was so sweet. So she told me, what's up? This is the correct white per Dooney and Burke per this year. Last year, their white was a true white. They changed it. This is the correct color for them. She said the bone is just slightly darker, but not really much. It's still in the cream family, just like this one is. And she agreed with me. She has been saying since last year when they changed it that they need to stop calling this white because this is not what people are expecting when it gets to them. This is by no means white. So this is definitely not the white I was expecting. It's definitely like a cream or a bone or whatever. So I'm still kind of on the fence deciding um, what I'm going to do. Once I do switch my catch-all pouch, I'm going to replace um, the things in, or put the things in here again and see if I like it. So anywho, that's the update on her. Um, update on my mom's bag. Right after I filmed that video, I went straight to her house and I went ahead and um, gave it to her and heads up, heads up. <laughs> update she loves it she absolutely loves it and she's like um does it have a wallet so <laughs> might be ordering the wallet for mommy so these beauties came today these should be the leftover pieces that are missing from my original orders because i did order these things together so i'm gonna get that paper out of the way it's amazing y'all look at this big old box Let's look how deep it is big old box for one little item like y'all seriously could have put this in a bubble envelope but anywho, we'll get that out the way. So this is the medium um, wristlet that I've been waiting on that's in the hydrangea. I can't talk. The hydrangea print. Um, this is the blue. Ooh, this is cute. So this is what I plan to use um, as a catch-all inside of the drawstring bags. Just putting the absolute, I cannot leave the house without them, essentials in here. And not the extras like lip gloss and lip liner that I don't wear every day anyway. So um, I do plan on removing this strap. I'm thankful that theirs is removable. Unlike Coach, I prefer a zipper and not a strap unless I'm going to use the strap. I just feel like it's just messy and in the way and, you know, I'm not a fan of it. So I'm excited that that one is removable. This one also can be attached to a keychain if you've never seen it before um, inside has that same cotton material as the inside of the bags I love this light color yes please this is one of the reasons why I love the coach robes because this is what the interior looks like versus a red inside of all the bags or a um, you know pink inside of all the bags or whatever so I do really love this light cotton material and it is supposed to be easily wipeable and not a you know drastic thing to clean if you spill something so I love the way this coated cotton feels. I have been carrying my drawstring bag since I unboxed it. I've been carrying the blue one and I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm super happy that I picked up both of them. Um, and then I decided to get this little SLG to go with it. So that is all the paperwork for that. And then hopefully the correct item is in this last box. And then unless I do order that wallet for mommy or I do decide to exchange um, this zip zip satchel for something else or another color, then this should be the last of my Dooney unboxings for now. So I got all the cuties that I wanted. So I will be a happy camper. All right. So it's in a box. So it definitely should be without work. So you have a nice white box here all wrapped up. And... 
to get that good tape on there is important. Look at that. You can't even open it without tearing it up. Make sure I, yep, that's the top. Okay, and I forgot to bring my scissors over here. I put them back on my desk because I was planning in my planner over the weekend. All right. Box out. These boxes are soft as heck too, y'all. I was moving the other box out the way and I was like, yes. I got to find something to do with this. It's too soft to just throw away. So this is the DB75 print. Um, the wallet is called the... Um, continental wallet i love how this one does have the actual face plate on it that's the only thing i don't like about the hydrangea one is it is missing the face plate which i'm sorry if i'm gonna pay for it i want it it's part of what i like about it but anyway it's super cute so on the inside this one does have red just like the interior of the bag it's got some red as well as some black which i thought was super nice um, i love how they have the credit card pockets laid out along with all the extra pockets to put different things there's two long slip pockets over here um and i still have the bag over here near me so this is the bag the brenna bag that i purchased um sorry y'all the strap got caught <laughs> this is the brenna bag that i purchased so this is the wallet that is going to go with it so i'm super excited to use those um together and then of course use the actual uh oh stuck on a strap the actual kiss lock to go with it so these are my three db75 pieces Boy, these tags are really in the way these are my three db75 pieces so i'm super excited that i picked them up cannot wait to rock them pretty soon but yes i have been thoroughly enjoying um the actual hydrangea bag with this same wallet i love how this one has the braided um pull on it i wish the um hydrangea one did as well but it's still super cute even without it it's it's cute i love both of them but if i could choose of course i like this one so you do have your zipper pocket here in the back for coins in case you've never seen this wallet it is right on the inside and then like i said in here there are two I'll move this so you can see it better. There's two slip pockets here. So I plan to put cash in the back one. And so far, the one I'm using, I do have my health insurance cards in here. And then I've got my main cards here, my VA uh, veteran ID here. And then I did put anything in the back of this one, um, in the hydrangea one. And then over on this side, I've got um, gift cards and like some other extra cards that I, you know, feel like I'm going to use often. So I do like this. Oh, look, the print on this one's different. That's cute. Let me show you guys. Hopefully it focuses right. The way they have the Dooney and Burke written on this one is a little bit different than the other one. I like both of them, but this one's really unique. I love me some good fonts, y'all, because my handwriting sucks. Absolutely sucks. But ain't gonna hold y'all up. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys my last little Dooney unboxing for now. Um, if I keep her, which I am so on the fence. She's so ladylike. Like, she looks so pretty in my hand, against my body, next to my side. It is an absolutely gorgeous bag. And because it's like a cream color, it definitely is easily year-round. You know, you can easily carry this in the fall and winter as well as the spring and summer. Um, but you know how, like, when you order food and you got your mouth set on a certain thing, when you don't get that, you're not really happy? That's kind of how I'm feeling about it. It's like I got a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth just because I was definitely expecting um, a white bag and had watched so many QVC videos where it was truly white and then there was another bag that was a cream color and they were calling it bone so I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm still deciding but that pebble leather feels so good and I really really wanted a pebble leather bag I also kind of like that um, Greta print in the navy and I don't remember what the burgundy color is called but it's pretty as well um so i could possibly pick up a brenna um in the greta print instead of this but i don't know actually you know what y'all i'm bugging out that is not all there's definitely another box coming i picked up the kiss lock in the navy greta print to put in this because i thought they could you know go well with each other and everything wouldn't have to be cream in here um plus i really wanted a greta print item since i saw it so that actually is still not arrived so there will be another see what had happened was <laughs> video but yeah y'all comment down below in this one and the one that you know went up before this one um where i unboxed this and, and kind of let me know your thoughts do you have it do you love it do you hate it what don't you like about it what do you like about it what colors do you have what colors do you recommend and are they true when they say the white or the bone or this i'm gonna say it y'all fake white <laughs> Do they truly just wipe off easily as far as blue jeans, black jeans, color transfer, things of that sort? So definitely let me know. Um, Y'all, thoughts, 
to help me with my decision because y'all know we are each other's enablers, drug dealers, all those little nicknames. Yes, we are absolutely all of that to each other. <laughs> Thank you, Desmi75, Flyboo86, Monos Beauty, um, Determined to, to Be, all of y'all. Thank all of y'all for being my drug dealers. <laughs> Bye, y'all.